hello beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here you're welcome my name is rosina sharon so today woo, i am going to do my makeup with short hair i've been having the worst insecurities when it comes to my hair doing it on camera with short hair i don't know why i feel like my face is too chubby when i have short hair but today we're going to conquer that fear <laughs> and we're going to do makeup with short hair and I'm going to teach you guys how to do makeup when you have short hair because it's normally different when you have um, your hair up or you have braided your hair because it normally lifts your face a little bit. So if you have short hair, don't worry. Today we're going to do makeup perfectly with short hair, okay? Before you do that, kindly subscribe. If you have not yet subscribed, share your thoughts on the comment section down below. I'll be reading all of them. Kamakawa And if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. With no further ado, let us go straight into the video. Okay, so we're going to start off with the eyebrows so if you have flat brows naturally you are allowed to lift them up but don't make them look like a question mark i am using davis number no. three eye pencil today and if you're going to use an eye pencil make sure the area around your brows is dry if you have short hair please don't make your eyebrows too thick make them look natural Personally, I normally draw hair like structures first before I start filling in with an eye pencil later. Clean my brows, I am using Illegal Pro Concealer in the shade Toffee. I'm going to use the same concealer to set my eyelids before I apply eyeshadow. We are going to use the Warrior by Juvia's eyeshadow. For my first transitioning shade, I'm going to concentrate around the outer corner going towards the inner corner. So I normally concentrate that around um, just above my crease area, but today I'm going to lift it up a little bit because I want to open up my eyelid area. Next, I'm going to blend my first transitioning shade with this um, neutral shade, and I'm going to drag that towards my inner corner as well. So when you want to open up your lid space, don't just draw a circular cut crease. Draw it in a square-like um, shape instead. So what I mean is, around your inner corner, give it space. Don't just draw it uh, from the corner of your inner corner towards the outer corner. And by space, I mean space in length from the corner of your inner corner going up. You see that space I'm pointing at? Yeah, that little space. And don't drag it all the way down because it's going to give you trouble while you blend in later. And when it comes to your outer corner, don't draw it with a circular motion going, out, going down. Sorry. Leave that space as well. I'm going to use that peach shade around the area I drew my crease. Okay, guys, just look at how this technique opens up your eyelid space. Just look at this other side of my eye and then look at the other side. You can see the difference. So, next, don't forget to blend in your edges. When it comes to drawing your wing eye, if you want to open up your lid space, draw your wing going up not slanted towards the other end when you slant it it is going to make your eyes look longer as opposed to drawing it going up it is going to open up your lid space kindly draw your wing eye as close to your natural lash line as possible if you must thicken your wing eye concentrate that around your outer corner the inner corner should always be slender okay guys so when it comes to picking your falsies if you want to open up your eyes go for the falsies that start off short around your inner corner and then lengthen when it comes when it goes towards your outer corner that opens up your eyes more as opposed to the ones who will start off dramatic around your inner corner they're just going to make your eyes look like you have an umbrella on moving on to the face i'm going to start off with elf super hydrate moisturizer and I am going to just massage the moisturizer onto my skin and then let it set fast before I apply primer on top. I 
And for primer today, I'm going for Colourpop All Star Primer. And I went for this particular primer because it goes very well with dry skin. It hydrates your skin. But if you have oily skin, on the other hand, you can go for an all matte primer like Rimmel or Becca. And for foundation today, I am going to use the NARS foundation. So for the technique here, use a damp beauty blender and then tap, tap, tap until it blends in. Then repeat that to your whole face, blend, blend, blend until it is all blended in smoothly. And another thing, please remember to blend in your neck. I forgot to put that on camera, I'm sorry. So next I'm going to use um, Illegal Pro Concealer in the shade Toffee, the one I used on my eyebrows to clean my eyebrows and my lids to highlight and nowadays I normally use very very small amounts of concealer when it comes to highlighting it works best that way trust me okay for me nowadays I normally highlight my under eye and my nose only but if you feel necessary to highlight your forehead and the area on your mouth please do so set today I'm going to use such a buttercup setting powder So to set, I normally just dip my beauty blender onto the setting powder, blow off the excess powder, and then set the areas where I highlighted only. To contour today, I'm going to use MAC Finishing Powder in the shade NW50. Normally start off by contouring the areas around my cheekbones. Then after contour my forehead, this is a very very important step guys, please don't forget to contour your forehead. For my nose I normally contour using a very small angled brush. If you want your cheekbones to pop, kindly reverse contour. And then for my under eyes today because I want my eyes to pop, I am going to use an orange shade. And then after, I am going with my finishing powder just to blend my reverse contour in. And then after all that, I'm going to set my whole face using a homemade setting spray. Okay, so next I'm going to use Fenty Beauty to highlight. For lipstick today, I'm going to use uh, these two shades of red from Golden Lip Cosmetics. Okay guys, so that would be it from me today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from this video. Let me know what you think about this look and this entire video on the comment section down below. I really uh, value your feedback. Yeah, that would be it from me guys. Thank you for watching and bye.